On this RV organization, we are talking organization and the whole RV. I'm giving you a tour. If you haven't watched it already, last week I did a whole RV decor video that showed you everything that we have done to our RV and a full RV tour. If you're interested in that, I will leave a link up here. I had somebody reach out and wanted to see the organization of our RV as well. So I decided to do a totally a separate video because I figured trying to do a tour and organization, it would be too long of a video. In this video, I am just dedicating to RV organization and I'm gonna show you everything inside our RV. Now, go ahead and tell you that we do not full-time, so I know that some people that full-time's camper might look different than ours because we have tons of open space that we really don't have much in it. <laughs> The first thing that I have on all of my top overhead bins, I have these locker bins that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree. They're in all these upper bins, the ones over the recliners and over the couch. I like them because you can use a dry erase marker and you can write on them. And if you change stuff out, you can change what it says. And so that's why I like these. But up here, I have some of the solid ones, the four solid ones, and then I have some that you can see through, and these all came from the Dollar Tree. Love having bins and stuff inside the cabinets. It keeps everything contained so that when you're driving down the road, it is not jumping all over. Now, on the sides, we do have these end tables that do have an area in there that you can put stuff, and I made the mistake of putting something heavy in there, and one of mine has broke. I don't really put much in either one of these end tables. All I have gotten here is some extra tiles and stuff that I have that I used in the RV, just a place to put them. So I never even use these for anything. This is one of my favorite organization items in the camper. I have had this since we've had the camper. I had bought a crate at, at home and then I just made this topper to go on top of it. I just used plywood, some boards, some foam, and some fabric. And I made the topper for this so that I can store my blankets and then I store our pictures. These pictures here, I don't have them attached with museum putty. I put them inside here with my blankets. So all my blankets, my pillows, they all go inside this ottoman that I made. And the great thing is, Vel uses it as a bed because she loves laying on top of it. Over here, I just have more of those locker bins and I have, that's like all our manuals and everything. I just keep all that there. Some file folders from the Dollar Tree. Ooh. And then I just keep any kind of our service records or anything else that I want. And I actually have one that I've been putting some of the campgrounds and stuff, maps that we stayed at. I don't know why I keep them. So that's what goes up there. And then these locker bins are empty. This 337 has so much storage in it. It's just crazy. Over here under the TV, I have two of these drawers and I just keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff in there. I do keep our bug zapper in here. I need to move that outside. I don't know why I have it in here. And I have like some decks of cards and just a few miscellaneous cords and things that are in this bin. But for the most part, it's pretty empty. Over here, I have this that I had gotten, or a friend had got me at TJ Maxx. We have Vail's toys. And then I have these bins here that's got like our coasters. And then I use like these in case like if I don't have the refrigerator completely full I'll put these in there to wedge things so that they don't move around so I keep extra cut noodles there then I made this lid that I keep there's some remotes and just different things that stay inside here but it just gives us some extra storage now when it comes to organization in the pantry I feel like I have a great system going on in here. I have a bunch of clear containers that I got from Costco and I decanter everything and put them 
inside these canisters. That way I don't have to worry about rats or anything coming in and finding something to eat as far as that goes. I put my snacks and all, and I have a video if you haven't watched it, that talks about my organization in the pantry that goes a little more in depth on what I do in here. And then also I have my seasonings that I have on the back of this door. I bought Dollar Tree stuff and made these. So it doesn't, organization doesn't have to be expensive. And then I, I just got, I'm so mad. When we first got the camper, I really think I got them at the Dollar Tree. I cannot find them anywhere. And I love these for them fit perfect inside these containers that I put on the back of the door. I needed something to put my seasonings in. So I ended up finding these off of Amazon. It was $9 for five of them. Well, I only have two up here because I ordered them, got them. The other three were melted. So I've got more coming, but I just went and got my Cricut, put on them what it was, and four of these will fit in here. And I think these will be great. I just wanted something that I could put my seasonings in that would fit inside these containers. I mean, these are just the regular containers that the stuff comes in. And then down below, I have a place for all my plastic bags. And again, it was just at the Dollar Tree organization. Inside the pantry on the very bottom, I keep our dog food and I keep it in a sealed container and I keep their water bowls, their food bowls, and everything down there on travel days. I just pull them out and then I have their dog treats on there as well. And then I put the bread and the chips. I have baskets to put stuff in because everything has a home inside the pantry. Under my sink, this has probably been the best setup ever. I've literally, I set this up when we first got our camper. I bought a bunch of the different things from Amazon. I will link everything below. I have this adjustable shelf here that goes up under here. And then I have a basket that pulls in and out over here. And then that way that fills up the space. I just, I love how this works out because this shelf is not too terribly deep. And then I just have these baskets that I had gotten at the Dollar General. And then these I had gotten at the Dollar General too. But this by far is the best setup. I never use the sink cover, so they stay up under here all the time. And I think I'm gonna end up getting rid of these drying mats because up here, I use this dish drainer. I got it at Target and I love this so much in the sink. It works perfect. I bought another one for the house. It's just a great size. It's not real big because typically in a camper, you only wash a few dishes or for me, I try to keep it up. So there's only a few dishes in here at a time and then it just fits perfect in the sink. I have almost the whole sink to still use or do. I love it and it keeps things off the counter. As far as the drawers, I just had this utensil tray that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree in here. And then in this drawer, I have my collapsible colander and my mixing bowls. In the bottom one, I just have all my little stasher bags and Ziploc bags if I need, just a throwaway one. In this drawer, <laughs> there's nothing in here. I just have my um, horrible, horrible can opener. I need to get a new one. I think I probably got it at like the Dollar General or something. I shouldn't have done that. I have organization trays in here, but I don't have anything else. I keep all my utensils on top of the counter. My second drawer has got some long knives. It's got a few extra utensils, a long knife, and my oven mitt, and that's all that's in that drawer. And my bottom drawer, a few storage containers, and that's about it on there. The drawer under the oven. I just have some of my pans and stuff that I use for the oven and the rack that goes in the microwave that I never put in the microwave. I never even use it. It's just taking up space. Up here, if you didn't watch the video a few weeks ago about some of my favorite Amazon products, I have these drawers in here. These are regular bins and I got these slider brackets that go onto the bottom of them and turn them into drawers. 
And then I have, I found, I had ordered this off of Amazon. It was just a rack to make this double height so that I could put stuff up above these because this cabinet is so tall, it needed a shelf in there, but of course there's not one. So I ordered a rack to put in there and make it taller. Over here at the coffee bar, I have quite a lot of organization. I added these tracks to turn this into like a coffee section. I have my coffee up here and then I have bills just down here. I had some people say they were having problems with their cake cups just sliding in and out. I don't have that problem. Mine are tough. I think I must have put them too tight, <laughs> but mine stay fine while we're traveling. I don't have to worry about them falling at all. Up here, I keep my coffee maker up at the very top when we're traveling. And then I have my liquor section here. And then I keep my travel cups and things up here. Up here, I have my toaster oven. I just got some extra baskets up there. And then I have my plates and my bowls. And I have them in these containers to keep them from flying around. They stay in place while we travel and I just keep those and those are from Amazon. This cabinet, I have our coffee cups in here and then I have another one of those drawers that I made. Up above, I have some random cups and another, and it's in a basket that I can pull in and out. I got this wire shelf at the Dollar Tree. They have some really small ones like this that work great to help you double stack your storage. This goes up there when we're traveling and then the coffee goes in here and then my little rack goes in here. So when I'm traveling, that's what goes in here. But I do keep my paper plates and plastic forks and stuff in this drawer. The second drawer down, this is like, I would say it's my organized junk drawer. This is one of my Dollar Tree hacks that I had talked about in a few weeks ago. These are great because they're magnetized to the pans. So you don't have to worry about them falling off or out. And you just pick them up and grab what you need. This was from the Dollar Tree as well, I'm pretty sure. It was Dollar Tree or Dollar General. It's just an organizer and I just have all kinds of wall hooks and stuff in here. All my command strips. These are from the Dollar Tree and then I just put my lights in here. If you haven't watched this video, these are the coolest lights. They're rechargeable and we take them and hang them around outside when we need them. And you can put those in a regular lamp and just put this on the plug and then you can work it just like a regular plug and you don't need any power to your lamp. I have another one of these Dollar Trees. This has just got my Nano Museum putty and everything. I feel like a good key to organization is to always, always label stuff. And I put these labels on here because I can peel them off and change them if I change what I put in there. But I feel like labeling stuff helps you stay organized, it makes you want to put it back there if you know that it goes there. And then I just keep our camera in here when we travel and then when I need it, I pull it out. The very bottom down here, I have our pots and pans and then I just have these that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree inside them so I could stack them and not have to worry about them banging, messing anything up. Over here, I have my air fryer, I have a stool and then I keep my extra paper towels down here. And my air fryer, this is my old Ninja air fryer. I love my Kasori and I bought two that I have in the house. So I brought my extra Ninja and brought it out here and put it in the camper. And we're really gonna utilize this a lot this year in the camper while cooking. And then over here, there's this weird drawer. And I used to have some stuff that I had in that drawer now used to be in here but i don't have anything in there anymore i love how i added these hanging baskets from dollar tree for way more storage and then in this drawer is just my charging cords pins and our lights now over here when you come in the door up here is where we put the dog leashes and their best and then i have three little bins here anything that needs to go when you need to take out of your pockets we put that in here and then I have these shelves that we put shoes on. And now I have also extra shoe storage up under the step. I do have an RV organization playlist and I will link that as well. 
so that if you want to go and just binge watch all my organization videos, you can. I think that you can't have too many hooks and stuff, especially when you come in the RV. And these are, if you haven't watched it already, <laughs> I say that a lot. I did a video about Dollar Tree hacks. I did it as a glass holder, and now you can just hang your glasses up there. Now in the bathroom here, I had added these to the side of the medicine cabinet. I love them. Bill wants to see his medicine and he doesn't want me to put it inside the cabinet. So I don't put his medicine in here. That's the reason I made these little cubbies on the sides of the medicine cabinet is to give him a place to put his medicine. And then inside our cabinet, I just have these, they're a fridge. I think they're called fridge something. They're from the Dollar Tree. They're the same things that I made I used to do the spice cabinet in my cabinet with. I just put them in here so that I can throw my stuff in there and it keeps stuff from falling out on you when you open the cabinet. And then I just have like some little organization bins inside each of my cabinets here. It's got like my hair ties. And up underneath my sink, I ended up, I have these that I got at the Dollar General. You cannot find them anymore but they fit, three of them fit perfect up under here. So they have like my brushes and my blow dryer. And then I have the big, oh shoot. I got these at the Dollar Tree too, this big bin. And it just has all our bathroom stuff in it. On travel days, I put all our shampoos, conditioner, all that in this bucket so that it doesn't jump around in the shower. And so that just lives up underneath the sink. Now this in my RV was a black hole and you, it was unusable space, but I totally remodeled this and I will link a video that kind of goes in more detail. But basically I just put in some wire baskets in the very back so that things back there could be pulled to me and accessed. I also have lights in here. These lights I did get off of Amazon, but if you can find the ones at the Dollar Tree, they work just as good. I just couldn't find them at the time and I needed some, so I bought some from Amazon. But this space I used to hate and now I love. In the shower, I had put on these baskets. I had tried some other ones and they would not stay on while we were traveling. Then I found these on Amazon, I've loved them. I have one here and then I have a corner one over there. They are perfect absolutely love them they're great and they actually stay on when we're traveling our final place is up here in the bedroom i just have in all of our drawers i have different bins and things like to keep things separate up here i just kind of put pants and different things and have them folded and stacked up i do have my makeup station that i made i got that at walmart and i made the top with a flip up top on it and I use that a lot. And then I have my jewelry organizer that I made from the Dollar Tree on the wall. And then I don't know if you consider this organization because I didn't want our clock on the countertop or anything. I had a little shelf and I put it on the little shelf up on the wall. It works really good when you're in the bed because you can actually see it pretty easily. Two weeks ago, I just did a video what's under my bed. So I'm not going to open that up. I don't put things under my bed that I access all the time just because the bed is so hard to get up and down. I just keep like our extra blankets, sheets, or anything like that go under there. You can tell we're getting ready for hunting season. We have all our hunting clothes in here, but I love the organization that I did. This closet has never been really organized and kept up. It just never would work. Anything I would do, nothing would work. If you didn't watch it, I did a video on reorganizing my closet and it has stayed organized with this new system. In the back of the closet, I got these cloth boxes that came from the Dollar Tree and they keep all kinds of miscellaneous things that I don't access all the time because they're in the back of the closet. And to me, I was so excited about this closet when we got this camper, but it's not as exciting as I wanted it to be. I can't imagine the washer and dryer is supposed to go back here. I couldn't imagine having a washer and dryer in here. We would have no room for your clothes. So for us, the washer and dryer, eh, so we could have clothes storage. 
I got this collapsible laundry basket. I think it was a laundry bin. I can't remember. I bought it when we first got the camper. This thing, love it. I use it all the time. We put our clothes in here so that when I'm gonna carry it back and forth to places, like when we go to the hunting club, our camper stays at the hunting club. So I put all our dirty clothes in this and then bring it back and forth. And then I can just throw things in here when I'm coming back. But this year, I did one thing different because I love that laundry basket and it's always just sat here on the floor and we put our clothes in it. But Vail, sweet little Vail, likes to get in our dirty clothes and she eats things that she shouldn't be eating. I got this at Five Below. We're going to throw our dirty clothes in this and then when we get ready to leave, I'm going to move them over to this one. That's the only thing I can think to do is to try to keep her out of the dirty clothes is that one's tall enough that she can't get in it. <laughs> Over here on this side of the bed, I did just put in a thing to hold my glasses and my phone since I took the end tables out. I added behind the door this hanging organizer to give more storage behind the door. I have absolutely enjoyed this year doing the RV decor and organization. So organization for me, I, I, I just absolutely love organization. It just makes me feel good to see a space that's organized. I love decorating. I almost, when I was going to go to college, which I didn't go, my major when I was going to go to college was going to be interior design. So I have always loved designing. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed this RV decor and organization series this year. I may be only going to have one or two this year. I have a few ideas for while we're at the hunting club. I don't know how many I'm going to get to do. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making these. Till next time, like and subscribe.